I don't know whether this is art or not. I mean, anything goes as art these days. I think Potter wouldn't have been so presumptuous to sit around wondering what, whether he was an artist or not. He'd just get on with it. Walter Potter was an unexceptional country taxidermist in this little village called Bramber in Sussex, about 60 miles south of London. Quite quickly he cottoned on to this idea of um, setting up animals as though they were humans. So he, he, he created the rabbit school and the kitten's wedding and all those sorts of things. And of course the more of that sort of thing he did, the more famous his collection became. As a taxidermist himself, he was pretty crude. He was, he was self-taught. There's no evidence that he ever used any books. He sort of made it up as he went along. Many of his specimens show all sorts of classic errors in 19th century taxidermy. Nevertheless, his, his tableau are still very famous, still amusing in the way that he intended, and uh, fortunately are still with us. What he did was, was interesting and different, and his little museum became world famous. It's been on television, it's been visited by over a million people, despite being tiny and in a remote bit of Sussex. And when it became likely that this collection would be split up, I decided that I would do my book. And now the book is really the only record of what that whole collection once looked like.